Chung Sing Ya. Mr. Deputy Speaker, I support the repeal of Section 377A of the Penal Code. As PM had said in the 2022 National Day Rally, social attitudes towards gay people have shifted appreciably, and the repeal of the provision will bring the law into line with current social mores. This is an important step towards respecting and acknowledging gay Singaporeans as an integral part of the Singapore society. The colonial law is outdated and it ignores the objective reality that Singapore is home to many gay citizens and residents who are also contributing members of the Singapore society. To retain a law that criminalises a legitimate community of fellow Singaporeans in order to preserve traditional values is at best a stretched logic. There are other better ways to promote traditional values. While the repeal of Section 377A is a major step in the right direction, we should, also, we should also ensure that public policies that affect gay Singaporeans in their everyday lives do not result in any form of stigmatisation and discrimination on a practical level. I recognise that a significant segment of the Singapore society is still very conservative. Some fear the repeal will lead to a flood of changes to the complexion of our society. I also recognise that there is an appropriate time and place for all things. However, Amending some public policies to fairly include gay Singaporeans does not equate to an erosion of the family as society's building block. Like all Singaporeans, gay citizens have everyday concerns about life and livelihoods that public policies can address without threatening the current definition of marriage. We also should be mindful that social norms change and evolve. It may not be prudent to adopt an immutable stance towards any public policies as we may find ourselves out of sync with the realities on the ground in time to come. Thus, it may be pragmatic for the government to always adopt an adaptive stance towards public policies, including policies affecting gay Singaporeans. More importantly, we must not forget that gay Singaporeans contribute economically and socially to Singapore. They are also members of Singaporean families. They should be treated as full members of our society and be accorded the respect and support like any Singapore citizen. As such, we should be careful to ensure that our public policies do not marginalise or pervade stigmatisation or discrimination against them. In the public discourse on the repeal of Section 377A so far, I am heartened to see a lot more restraint exhibited in comparison to what we saw back in 2007, when the repeal was first debated. This is a positive sign that our society has evolved and we are able to discuss difficult issues without being inflammatory. I hope, I hope the forward discourse will continue to be balanced, considered and secular. In a diverse and multifaceted society like ours, fault lines exist everywhere. Some are deep and old, others are new and emergent. We only need to look around the world to see many examples of how once inclusive and tolerant societies could suddenly become severely polarised and fractured. As Singaporeans, we must remember to always demonstrate a high level of respect and willingness to engage with fellow citizens who hold different views. To promote social harmony and cohesion, our national values should promote mutual accommodation and compassion among the different segments of the Singapore society. Even if we cannot agree, we must always uphold mutual respect and be prepared to listen and try to understand each other. In conclusion, I hope we can continue to work to eliminate all forms of discrimination and learn to embrace all fellow citizens as equal members of our society while always maintaining mutual respect and being accommodating towards each other. With that, I support the repeal of Section 377A of the Penal Code. Thank you. <laughs>